Hi, Messiah kids. Here we are. This is day six of story time. So today we have one more Eric Carle book, and then I have another special book that I would like to share with you. Um, the Eric Carle book is called The Secret birthday message. And I have some props to go with it. So we'll see if I can manage all of this all at once. On the night before Tim's birthday, he found a strange envelope under his pillow. He sat up straight in bed and opened the letter. Inside was a secret message. And this is what it said. When the comes up, look for the biggest below it, you'll see a And behind that, you will see a go in and find a crawl through, go down the Walk straight ahead to A and open it. You will see A climb up and through. That's where you'll find your birthday gift. Happy birthday. Wow, that's pretty, pretty hard to follow. So let's see what happens to Tim. When the moon comes up, look for the biggest star below it you will see a rock. Behind that is the entrance to a cave. Go in. Look up to find a round opening and crawl through. <laughs> Those bats are kind of scary. Go down the stairs. Walk straight ahead and open the door. You will see an opening. I see eyes through the opening, do you? Climb up and through the opening. That's where you'll find your birthday gift. <gasps> Happy birthday! Oh my goodness. So Tim got a puppy. Now this last page is kind of cool to show you. That is his journey to go find the puppy. So look at that, all the places he went. They have a very interesting house and yard, don't they? Birthdays are great times to celebrate, aren't they? We all like to have a birthday party. Um, and right now it's been really hard for some of you that have had birthdays because you can't have a party because we're social distancing. But I've seen lots of really cool things 
that people are doing for their birthdays. Maybe you have two where cars go by and they honk and they hold up signs. Those are all really cool. Um, now I have one more book and it's about a celebration as well. And it's about um, a celebration of color. It's about a little character named White Arch. So you see our little white arch over here? Kind of looks like an upside down U or maybe an N. So little White Arch looked white, but he knew he was more than just the color white. He wondered, could I become another color? Hmm. He's dreaming, isn't he? Little White Arch dreamed of all the possibilities. You see, he's riding on a horse over here. He's made himself into kind of a bridge over there. He's dreaming of all sorts of things. Oops. Nope. There we go. I'm on the right page. We're red. Won't you fall in love with us? Little White Arch loved the idea of being loving. He could become red. We're friendly and orange. Come play with us. Little White Arch was delighted to play with his new friends. He could become orange. We're yellow and skippity hoppity happy to see you. Little White Arch couldn't help but do a little dance. He could become yellow. We're green. Let's dig our hands in the dirt. Little White Arch cared about nature and helping the earth. He could become green. All right. There we go. We're blue and we're calm as the still ocean. Won't you take a snooze with us? Little White Arch realized he needed a peaceful moment. He could become blue. We're purple and we're here to celebrate our majestic color. Won't you join our party? Little Arch felt like living it up. He could become purple. Little White Arch pondered what color to be. Hmm. He could become red and loving, orange and friendly, yellow and happy, green and helpful, blue and peaceful, purple and majestic. Or he could become all the colors. I found my color. My color is rainbow. Yay, Little White Arch found out. He didn't have to be just one thing. He could be them all. That's a, that's a good lesson for all of us, that we can be anything we want to be. 
Now, Bible verse I didn't bring with me today. A lot of you know the story of Noah's Ark and that they floated around on this ark with all these animals for days and days and days. <clears throat> and finally, God made the rain stop and he put a rainbow in the sky, promising that he would never again destroy the world with a flood. So that rainbow book reminded me of that. <clears throat> in our church this Sunday, or in all churches, we have another very special celebration, and it's called Palm Sunday. So I wanted to read you a little bit out of the Bible about Palm Sunday when it all started. This comes from the book of Matthew, New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four Gospels. Matthew 21, verses 8 through 9. Now a large crowd had spread their clothes on the road. Others cut palm branches off the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds in front of him and behind Jesus shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. So that's where we got Palm Sunday. And all the people were waving palms. So I have a couple projects for you that have to do with celebrations. The first one is when we have birthday celebrations, when we have anniversary celebrations, when new babies come, a lot of times we send cards. And so I wanted to give you another idea of a card that you could make because right now we all need any kind of celebration. Tomorrow we're going to be celebrating the sun's coming out again. So any day is a good day for a card. So here's a couple of ideas I have for you. I went through some old cards of mine and I found this Valentine. Well, I don't want to send out a Valentine because this is April. It's not Valentine's Day. So I cut the picture off because I thought it was really fun. Then I found some other paper I liked. And you can glue that on the front. And then you can go inside and you could write any message you wanted to. The cool thing about this card is the back of it's kind of cool too. And I thought just cut off that stuff. You could make two cards out of one. Kind of fun to do and creative. Ask your mom, dad, whatever grown up you have in your house, if there's any old cards that you could use. Here's another really cute one. This was a birthday card. And so I cut the picture out. Here, I'll hold it really close. It's a little critter under there, maybe a koala bear or something holding this big bouquet of flowers. Who doesn't love flowers? And then you, I cut it out in the shape of an egg because we're in Easter time. So there's another idea. Now for Palm Sunday, um, you can make your own palm however you want. If you want to do a specific one, you can go on our church website www.messiahchurch.org, scroll down to where it says Palm Sunday, click on it, and you will find a do-it-yourself palm leaf. And you can print this off. This is what it looks like. And it gives you instructions. I've kind of done it my own way. So I folded it in half. I took a piece of green paper and I folded that in half and I'll put this over the green paper right on the fold so you got fold on fold fold on fold and then the first thing I did 
was just to cut, I'm not very good at this, to cut all the way down and around and around. And then whatever's at the bottom, make it into a stem. And there's what you have there. Okay, then you go back and you cut on these little um, lines in here to make the palm leaf. And here's what you come up with. It's really pretty. Looks like a real palm leaf. Then I put a stick on the back, kind of like I did with my fun things that help me with the story. And I put a stick on the back. You could put a straw on the back. You could take a piece of construction paper and roll it up and make a long stick. But then on Palm Sunday, when you tune in to worship, you will have your own palm to wave for Palm Sunday. And everybody in the family can make one because you can reuse the pattern. Here's my first pattern when I cut it out. So then you just put it back on your fold of your green paper and just cut out the next one. So you can keep reusing it. You don't have to keep printing out a new one unless you want to. That's always your choice. But I wish you all to be in church on Palm Sunday. I hope you've enjoyed our Eric Carle books uh, this week. And next week, I'll have a new series of books and some new ideas for you. And um, I want you to stay warm today. I also want to remind you that I sent you, sent all of you or your parents an Easter coloring sheet. And all your parents have to do is print it off for you. And then I want you to color that Easter coloring sheet. You can use glitter. You can use paint. You can use markers, whatever you would like to use. Take a picture of it <clears throat> and then email it to me. And then we are going to use those pictures in our Easter morning PowerPoint which isn't this Sunday, it's next Sunday. So we'll use them in the Easter morning uh, PowerPoint and on our website. I want lots and lots of those pictures, so please send them in to me, and I will get those um, put up where we need to have them. Um, let's pray. Dear God, we are just so thankful for your son, Jesus. We are thankful for each one of the boys and girls out there that are watching this, that are friends. Um, we are just thankful for all of them. So we ask your blessings on this day and um, just look forward to meeting back again. In your name we pray, amen. Bye, everybody.